Hey, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're at Spring Mill State Park in Mitchell, Indiana. We're going to try to do the 10 mile challenge, which is a challenge where you hike all of the trails here in the park. It's actually 10.8 miles, I think, according to the website, but we're going to give it a try, see how it goes for us. So we are on the beginning leg of the 10 mile challenge here at Spring Mill Park. Uh, the beginning, we where we researched it, it had you parking at Twin Caves parking area. So we're on trail three and um, we will loop around and, and get back to the parking area. Then we will drive to the next trailhead. You can actually complete the challenge without driving from trailhead to trailhead, but we're not quite that ambitious. So we're going to be driving from trailhead to trailhead. Okay, so we're on trail three, and we're trying to get back to Twin Caves parking area, which is the first trailhead we stopped at. So we're at this intersection here. Um, just, we printed out a map and brought it with us ahead of time, so that's a good thing to do. Also, the All Trails app is pretty handy if you have signal. If not, you need to download the maps ahead of time. I was able to, I don't have cell signal out here, but I was able to pull up Google Maps and find where we are on this trail. So we know we need to go that way. We're gonna take that way and hopefully it's gonna head us back to the trailhead where we're parked at. So we are just making it back to the car here at the Twin Caves parking area. We got the first leg of this 10 mile challenge done. What was that, two and a half miles? Yes. Two and a half miles. It's considered a rugged trail. It wasn't horrible. There was a few spots that were definitely rugged, but uh, we survived. I think we're going to go grab some lunch. And hey, okay, so we finished the first leg of the 10 mile challenge. That is where the trailhead began at Twin Caves parking area. So we finished that at a two and a half mile rugged trail. We are now at the Donaldson Cave parking area where you pick up trail four. There's trail three at the uh, Twin Caves parking area, trail four at the Donaldson Cave parking area. So we're going to park here. We're going to eat some lunch we brought because that was a little bit of a workout. And then we're going to hit this trail and we will move on from there. So we just finished up lunch. We brought some egg salad sandwiches, some Cheez-Its, some bottles of water, having an apple here, and then we're gonna hit trail four. Um, just kind of wanted to demonstrate that you can do trips like this fairly inexpensively. You know, you can make a day of it, pack a lunch, come down here. We buy the annual pass to get into the park, so it's $50, I think, up front for the year. But you get admission to all the state parks, and uh, it's just a great time for not very much money. So pack a lunch and enjoy yourselves all right so we just finished lunch and we are getting ready to start the second leg of the 10 mile challenge here at the Donaldson cave parking area we're gonna pick up trail four and I believe that takes you all the way around the pioneer village and stuff I have to look at the map to be sure but this is um, it's a two mile trail so it's a half mile shorter than the one we just completed but um, we'll we'll get on with it and see what's on
rated as rugged. I don't think it's too bad, but this is definitely some of the more rugged parts. So just kind of so you know what to expect if you get out here. So we are walking up to the Pioneer Village. This is where Trail 4, kind of the first stop along Trail 4 from the uh, from the Donaldson Cave area. We're not going to focus real heavily on the Pioneer Village in this video because I feel like when most people who are familiar with Spring Mill come here, that's what they think of. And uh, it's a very cool part of Spring Mill. We've always enjoyed it. But we're kind of here to explore the trails today. So... But you will, you will come out right here around the Pioneer Village area. We're well, not going to come out here. You're going to keep going, but you will cross through. All right, so we're taking a little break here in the Pioneer Village. We sit down to drink some water and kind of regroup our thoughts and look at the map a little bit. This part of the map gets a little confusing. So we go through the Pioneer Village and we catch, what is it, the Stagecoach Trail? Yes. Stagecoach Trail, which takes you to Trail 7. You'll take that. And that will loop back around eventually to Trail 4, which will take us back to the Donaldson Cave parking area where our car is. So hopefully we'll find our way. So the uh, 10 mile challenge does actually take you right through the Pioneer Village. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we just climbed this giant hill coming out of the Pioneer Village from where you take Trail 4, what was it, past the Hamer Cave area. This is going to take you up eventually to Trail 7, or the Stagecoach Trail actually, which connects us to connects to Trail 7. And uh, yeah, that's a big hill. This is the first spot on this whole journey that we found with no people. I mean, it's isolated here. It's very quiet, flat. This is Trail 7. After you come out of the Pioneer Village, Trail 4 takes you along the Stagecoach Trail to Trail 7. And this is just lovely and peaceful out here. Do you agree? I do. So you will come to a point where... Trail 7 goes three different ways. You don't want to go back towards the Pioneer Village if you're wanting to continue on to Trail 7. You're eventually going to come back around and backtrack that way. But this is a loop that goes around and you can take either direction here for Trail 7 to complete that loop. Once you complete that loop, it'll bring you back to this point. And then you'll take Trail 7 back towards the Pioneer Village where you'll pick up Trail 4 and continue on. If you're doing the challenge, you'll continue on to... The Donaldson Cave parking area on Trail 4, back to where we had lunch. So you will end up taking Trail 4 past the Hamer Cemetery. We've actually stopped and checked this cemetery out once before. And it's, there's some pretty neat older graves in there. But uh, today we're going to keep on hiking. Yeah. Okay, so this is the end of Trail 4. We are back at the Donaldson Cave parking area. That's a pretty good little haul. car 
So we'll regroup and head on to the next trailhead here in a minute. All right, so we are getting ready to start leg three of the 10 mile challenge. We uh, actually parked here at the Spring Mill Inn. Um, the, the challenge thing that we read online said you could park at a nearby bridge, but it's a little too convoluted for us to figure out where that's at. So we're picking up trail one here behind the inn. We're gonna take that around to trail five. Uh, you take that around the lake, pick up trail two, which will take you back to trail four and then back to trail one behind here. So there'll be one more small leg after this, but we've already got eight miles in. Does it feel like it's eight miles to you? Yes. It feels like it's about 16 <laughs> to me, but we are in it to win it. We signed up, well, we didn't sign up for anything, but we agreed to do the 10 mile challenge. So that's what we're gonna do, but I have a feeling we're gonna sleep well tonight. We will see you next time. So apparently this is the bridge that you can park at. It was just on the back side of the of the inn and we found it when we were walking around here to pick up trail five so no big deal we're just on the front side of the Water. Not sure what we're walking up on, but oh, oh, this is cool. I guess this is the dam for the lake over there. All right. Well, never been here before. Don't fall in. Back in our car, finished that leg, and we are about worn out. <laughs> All right, we have one last trail. It's uh, trail six at the Gus Grissom Memorial. It's only a quarter of a mile. Thank goodness, that's about all we've got left in us. We are too far into the 10 mile challenge to give up now. So we'll be there at the trailhead in just a few. Alright, so we're back at the Gus Grissom Memorial. 
there's where we pick up trail six. This is the last trail of the day. Um, this will complete the 10 mile challenge for us. This trail is a quarter mile. Um, my Fitbit shows I've already done 11.4 miles or something. Uh, it could have been a few navigational mishaps on my part. I think I had the map upside down a couple times. But anyway, we've made it this far. We've got a quarter mile to go. We're exhausted. So trail six is a wheelchair accessible trail. It's a quarter mile, so I'm glad we uh, finished up with this one. It's one of the easier trails we've done today, and um, it's been a, it's been an adventure. It has definitely been a challenge, so it's aptly named, but uh, we've just about completed it. All right, so we just completed trail six. We have now completed the. Uh, the 10 mile challenge here at Spring Mill State Park. Um, it's a little over 10 miles, like 10.4 I think it was. Um, so it turns out, I guess several of the state parks have these challenges. From what I read, this is one of the longest, so I'm glad we got it out of the way. Gonna maybe try some other ones, maybe at Turkey Run and some of the other ones we saw. But it was definitely a challenge. We are exhausted and we are gonna get back into the car now. See you next time.